Mobicine is an initiative uh, that aims at uh, resolving the problem of, of uh, uh, the cinema halls in Western Africa. Most of them shut, shut down in the last 10 years, uh, mostly due to, to piracy, but also to other reasons, such as the uh, transformation of cities. Uh, they are bigger and bigger, and people are not keen on, on going to the center to watch a movie while they can buy a pirated DVD. So the idea is to have a moving cinema as cheap as possible in terms of equipment and to make it sustainable. Uh, through the money we can uh, get from uh, the audience and the sponsors. The idea being to recreate uh, a little film sector, film exhibition sector, uh, that allows people to watch movies and allows uh, we create jobs also. And then the right owners, namely the, film, the African film producers, get some money from their work, which is not the case today. This is why they are in deep crisis. The idea is to have this uh, little, uh, I think the, the English word is moped, so it's a three-wheel truck, uh, which is totally manageable by just one person because the business model is key in this project. So inside this box, we have uh, what we call the black box, in which we have a, a video beamer and a laptop. All the files are secured, and so it's piracy-proof and shock-proof and dust-proof. And then we have a screen. We have two loudspeakers and a power generator. This is our secret weapon because we're, we live in a city, Dakar, where uh, quite often there are power cuts and so people don't have TV at night, but we have, uh, we have electricity so we can screen the movies. So we, have, we will have seven of these in Dakar. We have seven of these in Dakar and seven in Bamako, uh, starting in May. Oh, we go to free places, so it's, it's mostly community-owned uh, community uh, venues. Uh, we have a partnership with both uh, town halls, the city of Dakar and the city of Bamako, and they have, they do have uh, public spaces such as uh, uh, Centre Socioculturel in Dakar or, or uh, like youth, 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 youth clubs in Bamako. So they are all over the place, and, and these are the places where uh, the youngsters already congregate and they know the place, and so it's it's a, a place, it's a meeting place, meeting spot. And the idea is to be on the on the best, on the very best best hotspot in, in every neighboring neighborhood. So we, we scouted some 200 places, uh, a bit more in Dakar than Bamako, uh, which uh, are just uh, lent to us by, uh, freely by, by the city. Coopération et sa mise en œuvre, c'est pour une structure comme la mienne de 500 millions d'euros. Alors on travaille sur les infrastructures, on travaille sur le changement climatique, mais aussi, et ça c'est un intérêt premier, on travaille sur le soutien au domaine culturel. Le domaine culturel, ça va du film, du cinéma, de l'audiovisuel, mais aussi la musique, la littérature, la chanson, les variétés. Donc là, il y a un gros effort de l'Union européenne avec les pays ACP, hein, dans le cadre du partenariat Union européenne ACP, qui travaillent à soutenir la culture. Dans le 9e fait, c'était près de 15 millions d'euros consacrés à la culture. Aujourd'hui, 10e fait, on est passé à 30 millions d'euros. Donc un effort conséquent. On se veut acteur, on se veut présent, on se veut en soutien. Alors pour le cinéma, le genre de présentation que nous avons eu aujourd'hui, soutien à la production, soutien à la promotion, la diffusion du film et soutien à la formation.